<laughs> I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Go on. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fy, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! I'll cut that barrel-looking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. That's where you're wrong. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. Well, that is one way of putting it. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvuser, at your service. I'm a wizard by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire, and both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? In Gwythan Ruins? Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? And you survived? I've heard such a thing was impossible. But it seems you either have a knack for timing or the favor of the gods. An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the Magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. Indeed. In that case, welcome to Gilded Vale, a true refuge from civilization. I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. Excellent. I shall follow you. What can I do for you? Of course. Merely processing some of the unusual things we've seen lately. And if Meowald is to be believed, 
It would seem you've an uncertain future ahead. Perhaps Defiance Bay holds the answers we need. Back, you clod! Those hooded fiends are nigh to be trusted! About my episode in the catacombs, there's something I should have told you earlier. I also have an awakened soul, but unlike yours, mine is a presence that shares my senses and my skin, making herself manifest at the most unwelcome times. I'm sorry. I've tried to learn to control Isselmir. I've gotten stronger, but so has she. I learned to keep her a secret a very long time ago. Those with awakened souls are shunned, mistrusted. And after your experience with Meowald, I'm certain you can see why. You need to be careful. Artless, uncouth, a creature of rash impulses and feeble faculties. She wags her impertinent tongue when she should listen. Hey, this one's fit to boil. Hard to get this gaff over anything tisn't to do with books and spill speak. Merely an annoyance. Although... Defiance Bay is said to have an entire institution dedicated to the study and cure of soul-related ailments. Since our journeys have already brought us to the city, perhaps we could speak with someone there. Thank you. This has been a great burden.
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sneak up on you. I just... Well, you seemed... preoccupied. Mad old watches, a cult on our trail. <laughs> What's not to worry about? I suppose I've just noticed you acting a little, uh... unusual lately. Talking to people who aren't there, remembering flashbacks of your previous life. I, I just want to make sure you're doing all right. <laughs> you know me too well. But it does seem that our afflictions differ. Isselmir asserts herself now and then, but that's nothing new. You, on the other hand, you seem to be getting worse. I should let you rest. It looks like we'll have another full day tomorrow. Please stop. I need to tell you something. I have not been entirely honest about my motives for traveling with you up to this point. When I finished my training in Adir, I was introduced to an organization. All I knew was that they were opposed to the unchecked spread of Enemency, and that they could guarantee me postings far away from the Seathwood, my father and his Earl. At that time, it was enough. In the early years, I thought of them as many things. Hooded men, prudent teachers, the leaden key. Their rules were strict, but their guidance was clear. I sincerely believe they wanted to keep Kith from the folly of their own foolish ambitions. I came to the Deerwood a little over a year ago. My orders were to gather information on Animancy in the region. A senior contact met with me every few months to receive my reports and issue new leads. She sent me to Gilded Vale to keep an eye on events surrounding the local lord, but I lost track of her shortly after that. I don't know if she was reassigned, killed, or sacrificed, the way you saw. At the time you met me, I'd been on my own for a couple of months. I needed some kind of direction. And after that scrape with the locals, I was ready to get out of town. But then you mentioned that you'd survive that Beowick. And I thought you might be able to put me back on the Leaden Keys trail. And I was correct, in a way. What we found wasn't what I expected. I knew the Leaden Key was trying to stop Animancy, but I didn't realize how far they'd gone. Murder, sabotage, abandoning entire districts to shambling horrors. Now the whole city is up in flames. I'm still not sure about Animancy, but I know I've been following the wrong master. Please, accept my apology and my service. Let me fight with you to stop Theos. And what do you really expect us to do with this too late confession? Trust you on your word? That would be an honor. If those Delamgon are right, you and I are stuck with our awakenings. Not quite the news I was hoping for. Oh, the knowledge that a barely civilized bumpkin will share my mind and body for the rest of my life? That's kind of you to ask. <sighs> I'd always believed that Isselmir was an ailment I could cure myself of one day. But now, to think she'll be around forever. 
Overstarched tunics, burnt toast, rawatai sherry, those are not that bad. But having a stranger pop in and out of your head at will, it's unpleasant, I assure you. It's strange. I've lived with her most of my life, and I've always seen her as an adversary. It should have occurred to me the day she stood up to my father. But there's something about being too close to a situation to see it clearly. Uh, it will be a relief to stop fighting her. That means a great deal to me. Truly. That reminds me of something else the Delamgon said. About the gods not being real. It's just... I can't help but worry at the state we'd be in if that were somehow true. If there were no power guiding us in this life and shepherding us to the next. Yes, that would take the fun out of it. We've been lied to. Our whole lives, and many lives before that. And it's led us to put our faith in a pantheon of gods that never deserved it in the first place. You're right. People will be better off finding direction on their own than following this farce. Besides, the gods haven't exactly done much to prevent us from slaughtering each other. If anything, they've only given us more pretenses for doing so. Seems like that's all they've been doing of late. I've also been thinking. There won't be much left of Theos by the time you're done with him, if I know how you operate. That will leave the Leaden Key headless. Perhaps it's best it stays that way. Then let's face Theos. When this is all over, I'll make sure that no one is able to commit his abuses again. Astounding. I always knew the Leaden Key stood for something big, but I didn't quite realize what I'd gotten myself into. And now, we're in the middle of something even bigger. With a decision that will affect millions. But even if you send the souls somewhere specific now, who knows what the next turn of the wheel will make of them? We can't really control what happens to them. Nor should we try. I had to see the monster Theos had become to realize that. It's your decision, of course. And whatever you decide, I'm glad our paths crossed in Gilded Vale. When the dust settled in Sun and Shadow, Aloth looked upon the remains of Theos Ixarchanon, his former master. He saw where the Grand Master had gone wrong and what would be required to undo the harm Theos had wrought. With a flick of his wrist, he burned Theos's robe, headdress, and every other symbol of the man's power. Never again, he vowed, should Kith live in fear and blind obedience to an authority they did not understand. Armed with the knowledge and courage he had gained on his journeys with the Watcher, he set out on the long and lonely task of dismantling the Leaden Key.